Right now, live at 5, police are searching for a shooting suspect in Duluth's Hillside neighborhood, the fifth shots fired call since Thursday. And Minnesota DFL leaders are criticizing the GOP party's campaign style with the pandemic for hearing from both sides. The residents in Chisholm are signing a petition asking the mayor to retract his support for President Trump. What the possible future holds for arts in downtown Duluth. Plus, in Ely, the seven-hour missing persons case ends happily. That and more in today's City by City. And after Duluth records its second warmest summer, we take a look at what it could mean as we move into fall season. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from our Radisson camera on this Wednesday evening. We are following several election stories this afternoon as both President Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden hit the campaign trail. Meanwhile, one Iron Range mayor is under fire for his endorsement of the president's re-election bid. Good evening. I'm Anthony Matt. Kristen is on assignment tonight. Thanks for joining us. Some Chisholm residents are calling on their mayor to retract a public show of support for President Donald Trump. CBS 3's Emma Quinn shares their concerns. Mayor John Chapa, serving his second term in office, is one of six mayors in northeastern Minnesota who signed a letter supporting President Trump's re-election campaign. <laughs> that letter took the spotlight Friday during Vice President Mike Pence's visit to Duluth when he announced the support from the mayors. A group of concerned voters took to social media saying they don't think it's appropriate for a mayor to publicly endorse a candidate for president. One voter we spoke with said the mayor's endorsement doesn't speak for all residents. I've always respected, always represented our city until recently. I'm very disappointed that he signed the letter. Residents are hoping their social media campaign will get the mayor's attention and will act quickly to retract his support. The Chisholm City Council is expected to approve a resolution at an upcoming meeting, reaffirming the city is neutral when it comes to politics. Mayor Champa will share more about his endorsement tonight on the CBS 3 News at 6. Meanwhile, that letter has sparked concern from labor unions as well. United Steelworkers penned a response to some of the claims made while the vice president was in Duluth. The letter was written and signed by USW District 11 leadership, including John Arbogast. We spoke with him at the Union Hall in Eveleth today. Between low steel prices, the pandemic, blast furnaces being shut down, and the ongoing issue of illegal steel dumping, USW leadership says the picture of the mayor's painted of the local economy and mining industry was far from the truth. While a few hundred miners remain out of work for the foreseeable future, Arbogast said the idea that local mayors would claim the range is, quote, roaring back to life is insulting. Well, that comment was one of the big ones that really got my blood flowing because if the Iron Range is roaring back, I want someone to go tell that to the over 300 people at KeyTech that are laid off, have been laid off. The, it doesn't look like there's any hope for any of these employees into 2021. That's over 300 men and women, families, the other businesses that they support. Tell them things are roaring back. In next week's Eye on Mining, we'll hear more from the Steelworkers Union on why they're endorsing Joe Biden for president and what they expect for the mining industry for the year ahead. Join us next Tuesday at 10. Kristen will have the full story. Minnesota DFL leaders are criticizing the GOP party's campaign style amid the pandemic. Today, DFL party chairman Ken Martin claimed the state's Republican Party holds events without following CDC safety guidelines. He specifically pointed to the statewide Women for Trump bus tour that made a stop in Hermantown last month. Barton says the GOP's campaign events include large crowds, are held indoors, and with few people wearing masks or social distancing. DFLers called it reckless and potentially deadly. We need to be crystal clear about what's happening here. The Minnesota Republican Party's unsafe events could be spreading COVID-19 across our state landing people in the hospital, and even killing them. DFLers pointed out that members of their party have been holding virtual campaign events, hoping to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Meanwhile, the Minnesota GOP party responded, saying in part that Victory Trump has and continues to comply with local, state, and federal guidelines while switching to in-person campaigning. Meanwhile, sticking with politics, President Trump is in the battleground state of North Carolina as both he and Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden take different approaches to the campaign trail today. Deborah Althrone is at the White House with more. 
South Carolina. The battleship North Carolina stood in the background as President Trump named Wilmington America's first World War II heritage city. That's a big deal. Our nation's very first, Wilmington. Congratulations to you all. But the president's trip to the Tar Heel state was also political, with the latest CBS News battleground tracker poll showing it as a toss-up. We're running against people that have got some big issues. They've got some big, big problems. They're stone cold crazy, and we have to keep our country. Face masks and social distancing were sparse during the president's events. In contrast to Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's socially distanced Delaware news conference. A president has a responsibility to set examples, set the right example for how to get out, not go out and not wear masks. Earlier, the former vice president attended a virtual briefing on the coronavirus and schools with his wife, Jill Biden. This is a national emergency. But President Trump still doesn't have any real plan. The two sides also continue to clash over the ongoing racial justice protests against police brutality, which hit a flashpoint last week when police shot Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. These people only know one thing, and that's strength. That's all they know, strength. And we have strength. The president praised law enforcement and defended his supporters' actions through the protests during his visit to Kenosha Tuesday. Biden says he'll take a different message when he travels there on Thursday. He's got to heal. We've got to put things together, bring people together. The president and the Democratic candidate will face off in their first debate in Cleveland, Ohio, later this month. And today it was announced Biden is expected to meet with the family of Jacob Blake during the Thursday visit to Kenosha. Closer to home, Duluth police are searching for a suspect after a man was shot twice last night. Officers responded to the sound of gunshots near Harbor Highlands Apartments in the Central Hillside neighborhood just before midnight. Shortly after that report, an officer stopped a vehicle that ran a stop sign at an intersection near Essentia. The 28-year-old driver told police he was driving himself to the hospital to be treated for two gunshot wounds. He's still in the hospital in stable condition. The incident marks at least the fifth shots fired call police have responded to since Thursday morning. All right, let's get a quick look at the weather. Dave, beautiful day, but I feel like they are numbered. Yeah, they are numbered. Boy, last night the rain came down yeah, pretty did. heavy after the news, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Now today, as we expected, the high pressure system strengthened itself and the sky became nice and blue. So let's take a live look towards Cass Lake and see that and there's still some blue sky up above there out to the north and to the west, but the clouds were also starting to thicken. That's because another chance of rain is coming our way tonight. The high pressure cell is going to slide away and that low pressure system from the west will come to call. And after midnight through about noon tomorrow, there's a 40 to 50 percent chance for more showers and thunderstorms. So our day planner for Thursday indicates that we get that 40% chance of rain in the morning, falls to about 30% by lunchtime, and then should fall away and start to clear again in the afternoon. The cold front portion of this low pressure system is going to take temperatures down. A lot of places got into the 70s today, but 60s will be the best we can manage for Thursday. For the weekend, Labor Day weekend, we may rebound towards 70, but after that, maybe the 50s will take over. So we'll show you the up and down temperature trends in more detail in just a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a Cloquet firefighter is being honored as a hometown hero, plus a man lost near the Boundary Waters has been found safe after an hours-long search. And tonight at 6, some Chisholm residents are calling on their mayor to retract a public show of support for President Donald Trump. Tonight, we hear more from the mayor about his endorsement. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Bant, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS3. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Protect your roof from the elements with EPDM Rubber Roofing. Menards has a large selection of sizes, up to 20 by 100 feet. EPDM Rubber Roofing is 11% off. Enjoy crisp autumn breezes with a new Larson Storm Door with styles that will match your home and features like a screen-away retractable screen. Larson Storm Doors are 11% off. Stop waiting and start saving with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I'm Carrie Harris, owner of
have diabetic and comfort shoes. We have been in business in the Northland helping you with your everyday foot problems stemming from diabetes to plantar fasciitis for the past 17 years. Stop in and see the complete line of men's and women's shoes from Sass to Allegria to Vionic for those millions of people battling plantar fasciitis. And we still have a great selection of comfortable shoes for diabetics. Medicare and Minnesota Healthcare approved. Remember, no foot problem is too big or too small. We'll find the way to your soul. Let the celebration begin with Stokey's Liquor. We have everything you need to set the party off right. For your next dinner party, backyard barbecue, get together with friends, or private gathering, stop by one of our convenient Stokey's Liquor locations. We have a full selection of beer, wine, and spirits, all at unbeatable prices. No need to go anywhere else. Stokey's Liquor has everything you need. Make sure to visit us online at stokeysmeatmarket.com for weekly specials. Stokey's Liquor, with locations in Hermantown and Lakeside. Western lets your UTV power through the storm. The Impact V-Plow and Impact Straight Blade. With the features the pros demand. Custom tailored for your UTV. And to keep your work top notch, rely on the Tornado UTV Hopper Spreader. Now that's a job well done. Western, more jobs done faster. Get your snowplow from the experts at JM Auto Service. We are Western Snowplow Headquarters. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at Grand Rapids on this Wednesday evening. Dave Anderson will have your full weather forecast coming up in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the region. A happy ending to a missing persons case in Ely. Plus, libraries are continuing to support their communities in Bayfield and Washburn. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. Starting things off in Wisconsin, where the Washburn and Bayfield area libraries are working to continue services despite the pandemic. The libraries have switched to primarily online services, with the Washburn Library remaining closed to public access. In Bayfield, the library has switched to curbside pickup for checkouts and limited indoor operations with social distancing and mask mandates in place. While checkouts are down for both libraries, they are continuing to offer online services such as scholarship and online story time for kids. Now we're headed up to Ely where a missing persons case ended happily. A seven hour search began when a 64 year old went missing while bear hunting near the Boundary Waters on Monday. Authorities eventually located the man who had reportedly managed to build himself a fire and was waiting patiently to be found. The man was flown out by the rescue squad. And finally we're finishing off in Cloquet where the Red Cross is honoring an area firefighter with the Hometown Hero Award. The award recognizes community members who make a difference in their area. Department member Sarah Buells received the award for her work through two different safety programs, one of which installed 1,500 fire alarms in at-risk homes throughout the community. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, go ahead and send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, meteorological summer came to an end Tuesday, and it was one for the books right here in Duluth. Yeah, we'll show you those numbers here coming up in just a couple of minutes, but right now we show you a live look at what's going on up Highway 53. Looks like a nice day there, but clouds are coming in tonight. Could lead to some rain tomorrow, and we'll talk about the chances in a few more minutes. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Mack. Tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. So long, summer, and hello, fall, with the new DQ Fall Blizzard menu. There's the always festive pumpkin pie, tasty new caramel apple pie, and more delicious fall flavors than ever, right now on the new DQ Fall Blizzard menu. If you're craving fall, you can find it at DQ. Happy taste good. At Perkins, our burger, fries, and pie combo is back. For a limited time, enjoy any burger, fries, and a slice of pie. Dine in safely or order pickup or delivery at PerkinsToGo.com. Tired of one-topping pizza deals? Try the new $10 Tastemaker from Pizza Hut. Get any three toppings you want for just one easy payment of $10. Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. 
Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and discoverwisconsin.com. Plus, subscribe to The Cabin Podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Up to 60% off on summer clothing and footwear from the North Face in Columbia at Northwest Outlet. Coming up Thursday on CBS 3 this morning, we hear from Minnesota DFL officials after their Wednesday press conference about campaigning. And Thursday, we're waking up to some rain showers across the region, followed by much cooler air. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Stokey's Meat Market. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Now that the numbers are in for the summer of 2020, of course, meteorologists are all abuzz that it seems to be the second warmest in our recorded history, which goes back to about 1871. This summer, 2020, August was 2.7 degrees warmer than normal, and both June and July were 4.1 degrees warmer than normal. But now already into September here, it looks like we can eye up a cooler than normal period coming our way next week. Temperatures will fall into the 50s for our highs, but we will have a bit of a resurgence into the lower 70s for the weekend, Labor Day weekend here, after just a little bit of a cool down coming courtesy of a cold front tonight that's going to stir up our latest rain chance. And we'll talk about it, of course, coming up in just a bit. Right now, at the airport in Duluth, it's 72. So it's uh, pretty close to normal today, and welcomely so. It's uh, been a beautiful day after all that rain last night. 37% is the relative humidity, so even despite the soaker at about 10.30 last night, it's not uh, overly juicy in the atmosphere. A westerly wind's going 14 miles right now and could go towards 20, even higher, especially by the lake, so there is a gale warning out there on the lake. Boaters, probably not a great night to get out there on the big lake. Air pressure currently is on the low side at 29.7 as our latest low pressure system inches closer to the region. Current temps are in the low 70s for the upper peninsula, low to mid 70s for much of northwestern Wisconsin, including 74 in Superior, a little bit cooler towards Moose Lake, and Minnesota numbers have a wider range, going from as cool as 64 in Ely to as warm as 75 down on Park Point. So it's one of those days where it's warmer by the lake thanks to the westerly wind. High temps tomorrow may try to get up towards 70 once again and for some towns well to the south and to the west. Otherwise, it is going to be cooler with highs tomorrow in the 60s. But like I mentioned, we'll rebound towards 70 for Labor Day weekend. And once Labor Day comes and then passes, temperatures will drop. Rain dropping in our region right now, it's trying to up towards International Falls as the higher pressure of today yields now the sky back towards a low pressure system that's coming our way from the west. And that low pressure system currently isn't packing that much of a punch. No big storms brewing up, but there is a slight chance overnight tonight they will. So the gist for tonight is clouds are on the increase. And after midnight through noon tomorrow, that leads to a 40-50% chance for rain, which may add up a little bit near the Canadian border, like close to an inch for International Falls and a half inch from or towards Ely and into Grand Marais area. But for the rest of the region, maybe only a tenth or so. So not that much moisture if the system pays off. Tonight, temperature-wise, in Minnesota, we're looking for lows to go about 50 to 55 degrees with clouds on the increase and winds as well, westerly 5 to 15. And it'll be windy in Wisconsin and Michigan as well with increasing clouds and low temps there, anywhere from 53 to 58. For tomorrow, the cold front portion of the low, which brings a 50% morning rain chance, knifes down the temperatures to the mid-60s for highs in the afternoon. And Minnesota gets that morning rain chance as well with afternoon high temps that might go from about 59 to 65. And that rain chance will be with us for about 12 hours, Tony. By Friday and Saturday, it becomes sunnier again and up towards 70 or so. Next rain chance, though, does come around for Sunday and Labor Day itself mm. spilling into Tuesday. And once that one takes off, it takes the temperatures with it as well. Okay. We drop into the 50s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. I'd like a little bit of a warm September and well, into early yeah, October. Yeah, weather is an up and down wave, and so yeah. if we had a warm summer, there's a very good chance it'll be a cooler autumn. All right, we'll keep our eye on that. Thanks, Dave.
Meteorological summer came to an end Tuesday, and as Dave mentioned, it was one for the books here in Duluth. According to the National Weather Service, it was Duluth's second warmest summer on record. We averaged 67.1 degrees. That's only 0.3 degrees shy of Duluth's hottest summer yet, which was back in 2012. CBS 3 meteorologist Alex Libby explains the trend. It was awfully muggy this summer. Yeah, it did feel very humid. Humid and hot. The numbers are in, and summer 2020 will go down as Duluth's second warmest on record. According to the National Weather Service, the average temperature this summer was 67.1 degrees. That's nearly four degrees warmer than normal. The only summer warmer than this year was 2012, which was warmer by just 0.3 degrees. State climatologist Pete Boulay explains why. In Duluth, right around the area, there's a moderate drought going on right now. Dry ground heats up better than uh, moist ground. So right around Duluth, that's why it was the second warmest uh, summer on record. While Boulay says this year's heat can largely be blamed on lack of rain, he added that the climate is continuing to warm. He says it's especially apparent in the winter months when overnight temperatures have started trending warmer than usual in the past decades. But overall, the big picture with climate change is, yes, uh, we have seen warming conditions, mainly overnight temperatures in the winter, not so much high temperatures in the summer. He says for a tourism hub like Duluth, he expects warmer temperature trends could both hurt and help depending on the season. So, you know, obviously the warmer lake would help out a little bit, but, you know, um, having uh, the lake freeze, too, is part of, you know, Minnesota's climate. For now, many are enjoying the warmer weather. It's beautiful. <laughs> By the way, Brainerd actually saw its warmest summer on record with an average temperature of 71.1 degrees. The North Shore Theater in downtown Duluth is struggling. So far, the arts organization has had to postpone nine shows since the start of the pandemic. With no end in sight, the theater is now strategizing ways to keep the business afloat. The theater had summer classes for families, only allowing a small, part of, a small group of children to take part. The theater director says it went well, and they plan to offer the classes in the fall, too. It was so magical to have the kids back in our building, doing what they love, participating in theater activities, um, putting on small shows. And it was... If you'd like to help, you can log on to our website, cbs3duluth.com. Still to come, how COVID-19 and lockdowns are having a negative impact on mental health nationwide. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. The Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a full modem. We have to get internet from another company, and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts, and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. We are making progress in downtown Duluth. Lake Avenue has now reopened to traffic. Plus, Season 3 of Superior Street Reconstruction is moving right along with an expected completion this fall. In these uncertain times, it's more important than ever to support our small, locally owned businesses, especially those in our construction zone. Whether it's a takeout meal or dining in, retail purchase or gift cards, they all make an impact in our community. Check out our progress and show your love for downtown Duluth small businesses. Lawless criminals terrorize Minneapolis. Joe Biden takes a knee. The weak response from Biden and radicals like Ilhan Omar has led to chaos and violence. And their calls for defunding police would make it worse. President Trump is making it stop, making crucial federal resources available to protect Minnesota's families, communities, not criminals, jobs, not mobs. Strong leadership when America needs it most. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. We're bringing you team coverage tonight as the race for the White House took center stage right here in Duluth. It's on, Minnesota. We protest everything about this. This here, this is democracy. For the best political coverage, watch live, local, CBS 3. 
There's a lot on the line. I'm in the final five. It's win or go home. All that stands between you and winning are a few obstacles. I want to do this for my family. I want to do this for myself. I just want to give them all. I'm about rediscovering who I am and parts of me that I have missed. We really feel like we're a family. After 20 jobs, only one of you will be crowned Tough as Nails champion. It is time to get to work. Tough as Nails two-hour season finale tonight, 9, 8 central on CBS. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me to understand how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me at work when I lead by example. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting NationalGuard.com. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. A new study finds three times more people were suffering from depression at the beginning of the pandemic. That's in compared to the same time period last year. Now, five months later, as the virus and economic hardship has spread across the country, researchers say it's possible levels of depression are even higher. Elise Preston takes a closer look. It's been a tough year for Craig Etten inside his California diving shop. Over these, you know, four or five months, I've put on 35 to 40 pounds. Weight the shop owner gained while dealing with levels of stress he's never seen. The coronavirus pandemic wiped out thousands of dollars of business. Can you describe what that stress feels like? Helplessness. Feeling like I'm completely not in control of the things that I'm supposed to be in control of. He isn't alone. In a new survey published in JAMA, the number of Americans reporting symptoms of depression tripled during the first few weeks of April, compared with the same time period in 2019. These findings were surprising. This number is higher than what we have seen after other large-scale events. Study author Catherine Edmond says women were more likely to feel depressed, as were people struggling with finances. Researchers conducted the survey when the pandemic was at its height here in New York City. The virus and financial pain had not yet spread across the country, and they say it's possible even more people are feeling depressed. If somebody is experiencing depression, they should know that they're not alone and that they should cheat. They should seek medical treatment. Yetten says he isn't ready to talk to a professional. It's not easy to go and say, I need you to help me. That's a... Uh, uh, that's not an easy deal. He is sharing his pain with friends and family and diving into work, hoping to salvage the life he worked so hard to build. In the survey, Americans were asked if they found pleasure in doing things, felt hopeless, struggled with sleep or eating, or felt bad about themselves. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. Have our certified nurse midwives provide personal one-on-one -on -one support and guidance for your next pregnancy. Visit EssentiaHealth.org to learn more. School's starting. Is your internet fast enough? Gear up during Extreme's End of the Summer Sale. Get fast internet as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Extreme's fiber-powered internet gets an A-plus for performance with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in-home Wi-Fi and 99.99% network reliability. Hurry and get Extreme Internet for as low as $19.99 a month for a year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. It's the smart call. Here at locally owned Adolphson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the home of your dreams with no extra fees. Take a look at this fabulous multi-level home in Duluth. Please call our Duluth office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolphson Real Estate. On the south shore of the greatest of the Great Lakes, Mother Nature's artistry is on full display in the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. The best way to see it is on board Apostle Islands Cruises, located in the quaint city of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Visit our website at ApostleIsland.com. Apostle Islands Cruises, the best way to visit the Apostle Islands. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. So the numbers are out, and this summer has been the second warmest on record. I talked to state climatologists down in Minneapolis to see what this means for our future. What the possible future holds for arts in downtown Duluth. 
Classic Rock KQ is once again the Northland's number one radio station. The KQ Morning Show, the most listened to radio program in the Northland. The KQ Train Red, the Northland's number one afternoon show. Thank you for making us the Northland's number one radio station. 95 KQDS. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Your fall fashion headquarters with new arrivals daily. Downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Wednesday afternoon. We're now halfway through the week. Take a breath. It's all downhill from here. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and a peek at what's coming up tonight at 6. Some Chisholm residents are calling on their mayor to retract a public show of support for President Donald Trump's re-election campaign. Mayor John Champa, serving a second time in office, is among six mayors in northeastern Minnesota who signed a letter supporting the re-election bid. And the numbers are in, and summer 2020 will go down as to lose second warmest one on record. According to the National Weather Service, the average temperature this summer was 67.1 degrees. That's nearly four degrees warmer than normal. And tonight at 6, the arts and entertainment business is struggling to stay afloat. In Duluth, the North Shore Theater has postponed nine shows since the start of the pandemic with what seems like no end in sight. We'll take a closer look at this story at 6. That's your news at 5. The evening news is next. We'll see you again at 6.